Hi everyone. In this video I will discuss all details regarding the preflop statistics in Flopsilla Pro. If you enter a range and you want to know how often on average it will hit certain hands on the flop, then just leave the flop empty and the statistics section will show you how often your range will hit top pair, a flush draw, middle pair and so on. By default the output will be in percentages, however you can also switch to a hidden combo mode by pressing CTRL plus TAP. And now you'll get some very large numbers that indicate how many matchups there are for every statistic. For example we can see here that there's roughly 13 million matchups for this range in total. And a bit over 25,000 of these matchups will be a full house. This comes down to 0.2% of the matchups. If we press tab to switch back to percentage mode, then indeed we see that full houses occur 0.2% of the time. So if you ever want to know the mathematically exact number for a certain statistic, then just press CTRL plus tab for preflop combo mode and divide these values by the total number of matchups. For more details on any statistic, just mouse over its bar. A pop-up will show a detailed breakdown of the statistic. There will usually be three or four sections in a pop-up. The top section will contain the statistic itself. The second section will contain a breakdown of different ways in which the statistic has hit the flop. For example, here we see how often top pair hits a paired board and an unpaired board. And for the unpaired board, whether it has hit any sort of straight draw. Next to it, it will show whether the board is rainbow, two flush or monotone, and whether the top pair hand has a flush draw itself. In the final section, these two columns will be placed on opposite sides of a matrix. So for example, this field shows the chance of top pair hitting an unpaired board that's also two flush, where the top pair hand has both an eight out straight draw and a flush draw. In the matrix, the field where a hand has hit a flush draw that uses both hole cards is displayed in green. And the field where the hand has hit a flush draw on a monotone board is displayed in blue. In the final section, it is shown how often these draws are to the nut flush, the second nut flush, etc. Now let's say that we want to create a pie chart of some of this data. For example, how often the board is rainbow, two flush or trips. For this, right-click the statistic to fix it, so that you can move your mouse away from it. Now click on the reset icon to remove all filters. And use this icon to switch to group mode. And filters of different colors are now available to us. I will display rainbow boards in blue, two flash boards in green, and monotone boards in red and click on Only Display Filtered Hands to only see hands with a filter in the pie chart. And the pie chart now shows that when our range hits top pair, in 56% of the cases this will be on the two flush board. And if we switch the combo mode with Ctrl plus Tab, then we see that there's this many matchups to which one of the filters applies, and this many matchups to where the board is two flush. And this value is indeed 56% of the total number of matchups. Let me reset everything again. Now this pop-up shows the default approach to breaking down the preflop stats. And most of the other statistics have a very similar pop-up. In the final part of this video, I will go over all these statistics and discuss anything that stands out for them from this default approach. If you're looking in this video for any statistic in particular, then just check the bar at the bottom of this video for the appropriate chapter. We will begin with the pop-up for at least quads. And this pop-up shows the distribution into royal flush, straight flush and quads. And quads is again broken down into quads where you hold a pocket pair on a paired board and quads where you have hit a trip board with a single card. The third section will show a table that shows whether the board is rainbow or two flush when you make quads with a pocket pair. The pop-up for full house is similar to quads. 
In this case, the second section shows how often you have a full house because you hold a pocket pair that has hit trips on a paired board. Or because you have an unpaired hand that has hit both board cards on a paired board. Or because you hold a pocket pair on a trip board. The third section will again show the same stats, but will show for each full house type whether the board is rainbow or two flush. The flush stat shows how often you flop a flush with the nut flush, the second nut flush, etc. The straight stat will show how often next to the straight you also hold a flush draw that uses both your hole cards, how often you hold a flush draw on a monotone board, and how often you don't have a flush draw. The third section will again show a table that shows how often for each situation the board is rainbow, two flush or monotone. So there's a 0.22% chance of hitting a straight while also holding a flush draw. The flush data will show how often this draw is to the nuts, second nuts, etc. The three of a kind set shows how often you hold a set versus how often you hold trips on a paired board. And the third section will again go into more detail and show how often the flop will be rainbow, two flush or monotone. The two pair stat shows how often you hold top two pair, top plus bottom pair, and bottom two pair. And the third section again shows how often the board will be rainbow, two flush, and monotone. The overpair stat shows two types of hand values. It shows how often the board is paired versus unpaired. In case of an unpaired board, it shows how often you hold an 8 out straight draw, a gut shot, or no straight draw. On the right, it shows whether the board is rainbow, two flush or monotone. And in case of a monotone board, how often you also hold a flush draw. The third section again plots the hand values in the second section versus the flush properties of the board. The pop-ups for all other single pair hands are essentially a copy of the pop-up for over pair, so I won't go into detail here. Ace high is also basically identical to all the single pair hands. The only difference is that here we show the chance of hitting an 8 out straight draw with either both hole cards or just a single hole card. And again, no mate hand is basically identical to ace high. Flush draw 2 card refers to the chance of hitting a flush draw using both hole cards. Here the chance is shown for the board being either unpaired or paired as well as the chance of hitting certain made hands next to the flush draw, such as straight, top pair and middle pair. On the right, the chance is shown of also holding an 8-out straight draw or cut shot. Two card 8-out straight draw means that both hole cards are used for the draw. One card means that only a single hole card is used. And again, the third section shows a table where these two columns are plotted against one another. For example, this field shows the chance of hitting an ace-high flush draw on a paired board, while also hitting a gut shot that uses both hole cards. Flush draw one card means the chance of hitting a one card flush draw on a monotone flop. Here we have the chance of having the nut flush draw, second nut flush draw, etc. And next to that, the chance of holding a straight, over pair, top pair, etc. The third section again plots the mate hand column versus the draw column. Eight out straight draw shows the chance of hitting a normal draw versus a double belly buster. The second section shows the chance of the board being paired versus unpaired. And for each case, where you hold two overcards, one overcard or no overcards. It also shows the chance of the board being rainbow, two flush or monotone. The third section again plots these two columns against one another. Eight out straight row one card shows the chance of hitting an eight out straight row with only a single hole card. This can be while holding either top, middle or bottom pair, or while holding a pocket pair, or while not having a made hand. Here, top eight out straight row means that the draw is on top of the voorstrijd. Mid eight out straight row means that the hole card is in the middle of the voorstrijd. And bottom 8 out straight row means that you're drawing from the bottom of a four straight. And the rest of this pop-up is basically identical to all other stats. As for cut shot, 
Both Cacho Pong card and Cacho 2 card are basically just copies of the 8 out straight draw stat. And finally, over cards shows the chance of hitting an unpaired board, a paired board or a trip board, and the chance of holding an 8 out straight draw or a gut shot. And on the right it shows the chance of hitting a rainbow, two flush or trip board, as well as the chance of holding a flush draw next to the over cards. And again, the bottom table plots these two columns against one another. So, that's it for all the available features in the preflop statistics. I hope that you enjoyed this video.